And set to go here at 55 kilos. The main event is underway. It's Lasha Gogatadze in the red from Georgia. A 24-year-old 2008 Olympian will take on Spencer Mango. St. Louis, Missouri, 25 years old. Been on every World and Olympic team since 2008, looking for his first medal at both, or at either. 10 seconds in. Mango's brother Ryan, a two-time All-American at Stanford. Gogatadze was 10th in the 2008 Olympic Games, third at the Junior Worlds back in 06. Spencer Mango, also a world bronze medalist at the junior level, was a world university champion. Spencer's an athlete that's got all the t tools. He's intelligent, he's explosive, he's got a good gas tank. Uh, something that I wished when I was coaching him that he would uh, exploit a little bit more uh, against different athletes. But uh, believe it or not, he's, uh, he's the full package. I'm really looking for him to you know, take all those tools and put it together and do something special at the Olympics. Zajag Jagadze of Georgia is the official. Zach Errett and Al Williams off the mat. Al Williams will be your judge. Zach Errett will be your chair. Zach Errett, one of our Olympic officials. Right down the road in Mooresville, Indiana. No score, 45 to go here in the first period with Spencer Mango in the blue. 55 kilos, 121 pounds. See a lot of the hand fighting. Referee telling him to engage. Mango trying to drive that underhook to the far side. Level change by Gogatadze. And we will go to Parterre. And Mango will be in the position of defending here in the first period. That'll be an attention blue. Yeah, getting one of those is okay. Getting two, then it's points on the board for your opponent. Clean break there, Gogatadze right to the gut, and you see Mango crawling forward again, trying to create that friction on the hands to prevent the gut. Now Gogatadze steps around. Good defense there by Mango. He's got to keep his elbows up off the mat, and he's got to keep the pressure on that lock and not give his, the Georgian an opportunity. There he goes. They call five. The, the crowd here doesn't seem to like it. Three confirmed. No, that was a three-point throw. Yeah, not high enough amplitude there. But and, it of is course, Jim, as an athlete, what's the difference between a three and a five when you're in the corner and when you're on the mat? Well, it's you know, it's a lot different. I mean, every throw you, you hit on the mat, you think it's, you know, you hope it's five, but, you know, from the corner, it's one of those situations where it's amplitude. It's really amplitude and exposure. If you throw a person high and they land with their back exposed to the mat, that's that's five points. Now you can have that same amplitude and if the athlete rotates through and lands on their belly, it's really only a three point throw. That's kind of the difference between... Spencer lands on his back five, or lands in danger. Lands in, in danger, case. high amplitude, five point throw. But in that situation, it wasn't that high and Spencer ended up landing on his belly. So it's a three point, but it's a Georgian referee. Well, you know, it's it's all fun and games. This is what we would term a friendly if we were into the uh, the football or the soccer. As uh, again, the differences between the the metric system and the what we used in football and soccer. As we continue into the second period, Lugatadze and Mango. I got to give it give credit to this crowd here at, at Lyons Township High School. Of course, Illinois, one of the great freestyle Greco-Roman developmental states. Uh, really solid youth programs all the way through, and you see their performance in Fargo. But as soon as referee threw up five, they all went, no way. Yeah. No, this is a very educated state. Uh, they've been a Greco powerhouse for the last four or five years. You know, they came up uh, about five, six years ago, slowly building up in the ranks, and about four years ago, they became a powerhouse. So Illinois fans know their Greco. The people at this at this event know their Greco. So any shenanigans is going to be immediately be called. 103 remaining here in period number two. We are scoreless. As the Who's Baba O'Reilly belting through the fieldhouse speakers. Referee again warning, this time Mango for interlocking fingers. We like, I usually would call it, you can't play Mercy out there. Absolutely, this isn't the playground, which is good because a throw on playground would probably hurt a lot more than here on the mat. 
Ten seconds to go do we get to parterre if we remain scoreless. Spencer Mango looking to fake that high dive attempt, so we will go to the force parterre. Well, Spencer, again, he's got all the tools that he needs. He's got a gut wrench, he's got a lift. Back when it was a reverse lift only situation, he had a reverse lift. So, I mean, he's got a lot of arrows in his quiver. He could pull out any one and score with it. He's just got to. Oh, it looked like the Georgian jumped the start, but gets the reversal. And it doesn't look like he's going to get any help from. Ooh, that was a quick, either it was a quick jump or just the guy is quick. Yeah, he timed that well. And 15 seconds back up on her feet because they go the full 30 if Blue's on top, but since the defensive wrestler counter, Mango still has the ability to score here Absolutely. and win the period. But he's got to move. Yeah, he just needs one. Last point wins. Tries a short high dive, two and one. And that's going to do it. So a 1 0 2 0 victory for Laga, Lasha Gogatadze of Georgia. Puts Georgia up 1-0 after our first wait of this dual meet.